Hey guys, it's Ron here from RM Photos and today we're gonna talk about a new drone coming out right after this. All right guys, welcome back, and today we're gonna to be talking about a new drone coming to market. Uh, but before that, on this channel, I do like to talk about drones and photography. If that's at all interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So today, I get a call from DroneWorks to head out over to Seattle and uh, check out this new drone. It's called the Gladius Mini. Now, the Gladius Mini is actually an underwater drone. Now, we all know the drone world's been silent for quite some time, so this new underwater drone is definitely intriguing to me because it's something I've always been kind of interested in, uh, but you know, it's something that was kind of like, okay, that's cool that those underwater drones, but every time I've seen these underwater drones, guys, they've been just like, so big it's just like ginormous and it's just like trying to carry and inspire and throw it in the water but this right here was very super compact um and it was very very impressive so you know without further ado let's just go right into my interview with aaron and we are going to talk today about the gladius mini now basically i come from the drone world and from high now we're going to go down below into the ocean and check this out this is like a mavic for the under the water so here we have the gladius mini and why don't you go ahead and tell us your name and, and what you do for the for, for sure. Gladius. Sorry. So I'm Aaron Beach. The company's called Chasing, and the product we're selling is the Gladius Mini. Uh, I'm the sales manager here in the U.S. Uh, and this is an entirely new category. You know, people have been enjoying the aerial, you know, aerial drone and photography for a long time now, and we're putting things under the water. This thing dives 330 feet. Wow. Um, it's got a 4K camera in it. It gets spectacular footage, as you just saw. Um, but it also allows you to. It's, it's very stable. So it stabilizes the drone while it's in the water. Uh, so while you're filming content, you don't have to worry about manipulating the controls while you're filming, you know, the jellyfish you just saw. Yeah. Now guys, the jellyfish that we just saw was quite amazing. All right guys, so this has a 4K camera and we can shoot at 30 frames a second. And you said it also can downgrade to 1080p. What's the 1080p specs? Uh, 60. 60 frames per second, yep. which is more than you're going to need under the water because there's really nothing you're going to want to get too slow mo. All right, guys, so the price tag on here again, Aaron, is what? It's $15.99 for the 100 meter tether and $14.99 for the 50 meter tether. Awesome. Now, tell us a little bit more about this. Like, what would it be used for? Would you say it's more of a commercial or is it more for the consumer? Well, that's the funny thing about it. Um, you know, I, I fancy myself an amateur marine biologist. And uh, so for that, I love it. And I think a lot of people are going to use it that way. Uh, your drone photographers, your, your drone hobbyists they're gonna use it that way as well <laughs> but it's also got a lot of enterprise and commercial applications the ability to film the underside of a bolt hole and do an inspection or a pier inspection you know filming down we're using the vertical controls which allowed it to move up and down like an elevator you can film a piling oh, that's right awesome. or a mooring line so there's a ton of different ways to put this thing to work and we're gonna see it on job sites all over I'm fairly sure awesome guys so guys I'm gonna put a link in the description below you can get it at drone works it's gonna be $15.99 for the 100 meter tether and $14.99 for the 50 meter tether so Aaron went over the specs with you on that and the pricing on that and guys I, I the footage uh, it was just quite amazing as you heard Aaron uh, talk so guys let's just go right into the footage look at the clarity of the water the fish are just moving around like they don't really they're not really bothered by the drone going by it just think about taking your videos to a whole new level so another you know good example of maybe search and rescue looking for a um, sunken watercraft I know that's not either of those but look at the clarity of what you're seeing um, maybe doing some bridge inspection under the boat inspection those little fish isn't that awesome what do we have here? Is that the jellyfish I see? Look at that jellyfish. How cool is that, guys? Let's see how close we can get. So guys, not only can you now get the vantage point from above ground, but now you can get below water as well with these new drones coming out. Guys, I checked over the internet. There's no any type of like special licenses or anything that you have to get to operate these things. So I'm super excited about this. I mean, after checking out that footage and how crisp it was, checking out that underwater sea life, I mean, the jellyfish, it was just awesome and the colors were so vibrant. I mean, uh, 
you know, it, it's just something, it's like a new passion of, that's gonna, I'm gonna have. So I can, I'm looking soup. I'm so looking forward to getting some underwater videography and photography to share with the world. Uh, just different parts of the world, different life, different lakes. I mean, guys, you can just get, the sky's the limit. Now, that's just for the hobbyist. Now, check this out. Like for, for like the, for the, for professional use, you can check out docks. Like you can take it under the water and check out the legs of the docks, if it's rotting, if it's whatnot, search and rescue. So many different uses for drones now. It's just, how cool is that, right? I'd like to go ahead and uh, take my hats off and say thank you to uh, Zach at DroneWorks for inviting me out there. Also got to meet up with the original Dobo. I'll put his link in the description below to his video. He has another video on this as well. Did an interview with him, uh, with Aaron as well. Super impressed, a very creative mind. So Ken, thank you for sharing uh, a plethora of knowledge with me and let me pick your brain. Um, and uh, guys, thanks for watching. Happy flying and now diving and be safe. Take it easy. Later.